We're going to do a practice now of loving kindness, of metta or maitri. And the basic principles of this practice is to start by setting an intention of loving kindness. Secondly, to envision ourselves and others to whom we're directing these intentions. And the third principle is to invite this sense of loving kindness to grow, to include others. So start by finding your seated position. And take an extra moment to make sure that you're comfortable. So you might want to move around a little bit, uh, find your center and close your eyes and relax into your body. Feeling your body from the inside out, letting go of any tension through your forehead and face, shoulders and chest, releasing your abdomen and relaxing down through your body. Finding your breath moving in and out of your body, all of its own accord. And inviting the attitude of softness, of tenderness, kindness, and acceptance. So let us begin where loving kindness comes most naturally. So please begin this practice now by bringing to mind someone that you love dearly. Maybe feeling a slight smile come to your face. And just sense the natural feeling of love toward this person. Take a moment to check in with your body, maybe feeling your heart area. And see if you can soften and really set the intention of loving kindness. And as you visualize this person in front of you, you might repeat some simple phrases to express this intention towards the person. May you find happiness. May you be safe and healthy. May you find love and be held in loving kindness. And just find the type of phrases that comes most naturally to you that it really allows you to feel in your body these intentions of love and kindness.
once again feel into your body relaxed just feeling what's present reminding yourself of the intention of well-wishing And then let this person in front of you teach you how to practice for yourself. So imagine this person now looking into your eyes and how this person wishes you well. See the love in their eyes and imagine them wishing you well just as you were for them. And really feel how they want this for you, how they want you to be happy. And see if you can invite the intention and the wish for yourself to be happy. You might repeat the phrases for yourself. I deserve to be happy. May I be free of resentment and hatred. May I find love and be held in loving kindness. May I be strong and healthy. May I be happy. May I be happy. You may even want to place your hands gently over your heart as you feel these wishes of well-being directed toward yourself. Soften in your attitude and in your body and reminding yourself of the intention to send these well wishes and this loving kindness toward yourself, feeling it throughout your body. Take a few breaths, relaxing into your body for a little while. And then bring to mind a neutral person, someone whom you may not know very well, or someone that you don't have particularly strong feelings toward either way. Maybe someone in your neighborhood, someone in the supermarket that you see every now and then. Choose a person and in the same way envision this person in front of you, seeing their face. And acknowledging this person's life situation. Being curious as to how it is to be them how they experience life, realizing that they, just like you, are seeking happiness, are moving through life, seeking to avoid suffering. So as you envision them 
Repeat some simple phrases of well-wishing. May you find happiness. May you be loved. May you be strong and healthy. And coming back to the actual feeling of love and the intention of loving kindness. Scanning through your body. And regardless how it feels in your body, see if you can invite it with acceptance, realizing that this is what's here right now and that's okay. Now bring to mind someone with whom you have some difficulty. Someone with whom you have a um, troublesome relationship to some extent. Doesn't need to be anything extreme, but someone whom you're struggling to get along with. So envision their face in front of you and see if you can get a sense of their basic goodness. Realizing that this person also, just like you, is seeking happiness, wanting to be happy. Maybe you can visualize this person as a child and how he or she has been moving through life, through tough times, through suffering, and through periods of joy and happiness. And how they're just like everybody else, looking for love, looking for happiness, trying to avoid the suffering that they feel. Soften in your body as you keep the image of this person in your mind's eye. And however you feel in your body or the feelings that are present, come back to the intention of sending loving kindness. And finally, we'll extend our circle beyond the person in front of you, beyond yourself, the neutral person, and the person whom you love, including all of you, and also extending beyond. Extending to other people known to you, people unknown to you, people near to you and far away, People who are at war, people who are at peace. Including animals 
and living beings everywhere. Extending your circle of compassion to include all beings. And to the extent that you can, make room for all beings to be embraced by this loving kindness. And really feeling this deep intention for others to be happy. Sitting down like this and practicing loving-kindness and metta can sometimes feel a bit mechanical. This is like learning a new skill. And eventually you'll find it more and more natural to bring this sense of loving-kindness with you into your life when you're waiting in line somewhere, when you're in traffic, when you're interacting with someone, that these intentions of loving-kindness can be there in the background and how you can send these intentions of well-being to others around you. We can begin to see how this can really shift our perspective, that just a moment of this loving-kindness can really change the whole situation. And we can begin to increasingly live with this spirit of loving-kindness as our deepest intention. <laughs> 